A huge asteroid classified as potentially hazardous by NASA is barreling toward Earth at speeds of 31,320 kilometers per hour and will streak past our planet on April 29th. Asteroid 52768, also known as 1998 OR2, is estimated by NASA to be between 1.8 to 4.1 kilometers wide. That's roughly the size of Midtown Manhattan. It takes asteroid 1998 OR2 three years and eight months to orbit our sun. Its journey takes it near Jupiter at its furthest point, but just outside Earth's farthest distance from the sun on its closest approach. According to NASA's Asteroid Watch, on April 29th, it will pass Earth at a distance that is more than 16 times the average distance between Earth and the Moon. NASA classifies a near-Earth object, either a comet or an asteroid, as a potentially hazardous object if its orbit brings it within 7.5 million kilometers of Earth's orbit, and it is greater than 140 meters in size. According to NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, as of April 21st, some 22,582 near-Earth objects had been discovered. The latest data on the center's website shows that 9,085 of these were 140 meters or larger in size, and 902 were estimated to be larger than one kilometer. By comparison, the Chicxulub asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs is estimated to have been a whopping 18 to 81 kilometers in diameter. More on that asteroid later. NASA says that no human in the past 1,000 years is known to have been killed by a meteorite or the effects of a meteorite impacting. We had a close call in 2013, when the Chelyabinsk meteor came out of nowhere and exploded over Siberia and leveled more than 2,000 square kilometers of uninhabited forest. Shockwaves from that asteroid, which was only the size of a house, blew out windows and damaged buildings over a 500 square kilometer area and injured more than 1,600 people, according to NASA. But we haven't always been this lucky, as you'll see in the next video. Fire from the cosmos is believed to have wiped out some of our earliest ancestors. Research published in the journal Scientific Reports suggests that melt glass samples found at the Abu Huraya site in Syria could be evidence that a comet destroyed one of humanity's earliest settlements 12,800 years ago. The high energy and intense heat needed to create the molten glass material could only have resulted from a cosmic impact, suggests study author and University of California Santa Barbara geology professor James Kennett. He says those sorts of temperatures can melt a car in less than 60 seconds. The findings back a theory known as the Younger Dryas Impact Hypothesis. This suggests that debris from a disintegrating comet entering Earth's atmosphere struck areas in the Americas, the Middle East, and Europe some 12,800 years ago. Kenneth says that the settlement at Abu Huraya would have been abruptly destroyed by such an event. 66 million years ago, a meteor hit Earth at such high intensity that it wiped out almost all life on the planet. Now, new fossils tell us more about what happened that fateful day. Here's what we know. According to a recent paper published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, fossils at an excavation site in North Dakota called Tanis show details of what happened moments after the deadly asteroid responsible for the extinction of dinosaurs hit Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. According to National Geographic, the impact left a giant crater measuring 50 miles, or roughly 80 kilometers wide, and 18 miles or roughly 30 kilometers deep. The collision catapulted tons of molten lava, vaporized rock, and asteroid dust at high speeds. The fallout covered the entire planet and led to the extinction of 75% of life on Earth and the end of the Cretaceous period. In the recent study, paleontologists found fossils of fish, trees, terrestrial vertebrates, and marine creatures that had been flung to Tanis in the aftermath of the asteroid impact. These revealed that roughly an hour after the asteroid hit Earth, debris from the collision turned into particles of glass that rained down for roughly 20 minutes. These particles are called tectites and were found inside the gills of fossilized fish and captured in amber from fossilized tree resin. The deposits at Tanis are a result of magnitude 10 or 11 earthquakes caused by the asteroid crash that then triggered large waves known as seiches that sloshed water, sediments, and animals into areas now known as KPG sites. Researchers believe these tsunamis reached Tanis roughly 17 hours after impact. KPG sites are part of the KPG boundary, which is a sedimentary layer that marks the end of the Cretaceous period and the beginning of the Tertiary period. 
According to the study's lead author, Robert De Palma, these fossils are a window into the aftermath of one of the most impactful moments for life on Earth. As human beings, we descended from a lineage that literally survived in the ashes of what was once the glorious kingdom of the dinosaurs, and we're the only species on the planet that has ever been capable of learning from such an event to the benefit of ourselves and every other organism in our world. NASA plans to test out its first ever planetary defense mission developed to protect Earth from a possible collision with an asteroid. Someone called Bruce Willis. NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, is the first planetary defense mission in history. Its main objective is to demonstrate a kinetic impact on an asteroid. According to NASA, DART's target is a 150-meter moonlet called Didymos B, a small satellite orbiting a larger near-Earth asteroid called Didymos. The asteroid binary is located roughly 11 million kilometers from Earth. The spacecraft will be guided by an onboard camera and an autonomous real-time navigation system. DART will crash against the moonlet at a speed of roughly 6 kilometers per second. Its objective is to change the speed and direction of the incoming object. The spacecraft is scheduled to launch in June 2021 and is expected to hit the asteroid by October 2022. In 2013, a small 18-meter-wide meteor crashed into the Earth's atmosphere and entered over Chelyabinsk, Russia, creating a shockwave that hit six cities across the country. According to NASA, this event is proof of the importance of carrying out preventive planetary defense missions in space. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.